don't trust you, I'm gon' shit Beautiful morning, yeah, the sun in my morning, babe Almighty Paris back with another 2k video for y'all Today I'm about to be showing y'all the badges that you need for your player But is not part of your archetype for example like You a sharpshooter you gonna have Limitless range deep range dead eye and all that Not those badges though. I'm about to be showing y'all the badges that you can only get bronze But they make a huge difference for your player Alright, so first I'm about to be talking about the playmaking badges. The first one that you will want is Dimer. Well, if you play with like Park, Pro-Am, it doesn't really matter. Dimer is good for any of that. So you will want to get Dimer. It just makes it easier for your teammates to score after you pass it to them, pretty much. It doesn't matter bronze, any of that. It's going to help no matter what. Another one that you... you don't need but a lot of people seem to throw or do this in the park is lob city passer a lot of people throw oops in the park even in prime you don't need it it's, but it'll help if you throw a lot of oops so i would recommend that if you do that but it's not it's not required you don't need that but next we got the break starter patch this is this is a great badge for prime for like people who play walk on prime with it this is a good badge in general Mostly centers use it because if you who, anyone who can get a rebound needs this. As soon as you get the rebound, you can just lob it down court or throw it down court, whatever. Once you get the rebound, you just throw it down court. They catch it. Breaks. It's, you're starting the break. That's literally what the badge is for. Okay. Another one is pick and roll maestro. This is a this is a great one for like people who play park because everyone sets screens in the park so. If you if you're usually the person like handling the ball, doesn't matter what position. Well, obviously you're not about to be like power forward or center having this, but if you are handling the ball, you will need this because it will make your teammates score much easier if you pass to them off the pick and roll, or if, even you scoring. It it just helps. All right, the last the last playmaking badge that you you don't really need it, but it's extremely easy to get so you might as well just get it it's flashy passer a lot of people throw flashy passes at the part because they just gets to the gets the person faster you try to throw it across the court it's gonna be they're gonna throw like a lot pass. you you're you gonna want to throw it faster so a lot of people just throw flashy passes so flashy pass the flashy passer badge is it's helpful but you don't need it it's, just, it's easy to get so you might as well get it is what i'm trying to say all right so now to the athletic badges we got brick wall one man fast break and post start you can get anyone can get brick wall i mean it helps because a lot at the park a lot of people set screens stuff like that just make it harder for them to get around the screen that's you don't you want brick wall because every park player set screen a lot of people at the park set screens so might as well get that one man pass break, good for park and pro man. Yeah, good for both. It, you, you try, you want to be LeBron out there. You get that one man pass break, you gonna be like him. Doesn't matter park pro am, all that. It's, if you get the rebound, you just take it coast to coast. It makes it easier for you to score off of coast to coast play. Posterizer, I would recommend for any position, even if it's bronze, it still will help out. Because you still will get contact dunk animations, just not as frequently as like slashers or people who have been like Hall of Fame and stuff. But you still will get the contact animation. And it just makes it, it help you dunk more. If you want to dunk more, get the posterizer badge. <clears throat> Now we onto the rebounding one. Well, there's really only one rebounding badge and hustle rebounder. Not a lot of people are gonna want this, but it helps if you if you like a small forward or shooting guard with a high rebounding. You might as well get hustle rebounder. It helps out a lot. If if you're not playing against a center in the park and you have this badge, you most likely get all the rebounds. 
it'll, it'll help your team out. But I know a lot of people don't like getting rebounds. They just like shooting to try to be fast. But all right, that, that's it for the rebound badges. Now we on to the defensive badges. For the defensive ones, we got defensive stopper, pick dodger, pickpocket, rim protector, and chase down artist. All of them are great badges to have bronze or anything else. Great badges. I know everyone likes to play defense in 2K. A lot of people can't, but a lot of people like to try. So these badges will help you play defense for me. All one day. Alright, so defense stopper. Exactly how it sounds. It's pretty much like a lockdown defender. You can lock people up. Helps you play better on ball defense. Okay. Pick Dodger. Th this is a mu you must get Pick Dodger. Because if you play Park, all they do is set screens in the park. You're going to need Pick Dodger so you can try to get around them easier. It, it, that, that's necessary. You, you definitely need Pick Dodger. Pick Pocket. If you're grinding for your badges, you're most likely going to get pickpocket because you're going to be playing on rookie difficulty and you could just literally tap X and go store the ball. But it, it's helpful at the park, pro am, it, it's helpful everywhere. Helps you get more steals. Someone don't have handles, you know, just rip them, man. Pickpocket is good, it's a good badge. Alright, so next we got Rim Protector, which is also a good badge. If you, I'll say if you probably like it. Every position out, probably except for like point guard, maybe it would be a good badge for it. Run protector. Anyone, any position that can get a good amount of blocks on it, it's great for it. Because every time you get a block, you're going to make them cold, and so they can't do nothing. Literally, you protect the rim. It, it's a great badge. So I will recommend. I will recommend getting all the defensive ones. And, pretty much probably no matter what position and just like the rim protector we got chase down artists every everyone trying to be like LeBron out here You're trying to beat shit off the glass everyone if, if you like I said if you get a good amount of blocks get chase down artists get rim protector it'll help all right so now we on to the inside scoring badges we got put back king and Relentless Finisher. Everyone knows what Relentless Finisher is. All you, really, all you gotta do is drive to the rim and get contact. They'll count that as a Relentless Finisher. Which is good for a part because, you know, everybody. Some people just don't know how to play. They're, trying to, they're just trying to drive all the time. I don't know. But if, if you like to if you like to drive to the rim a lot, you're going to need a Relentless Finisher. It'll help you finish a lot easier. A lot easier, trust me. Putback King is a good badge for people who are able to get offensive rebounds. So I'll probably say like small forward and up. Because as soon as you get the offensive rebound, you can, it's a higher percentage chance of you going right back up and scoring. So small forward and up, I would recommend for a Putback King. But it doesn't really matter. If you can get an offensive rebound, that's all that matters. Now we are on to the last ones, the outside scoring, which I'm pretty sure everyone knows the outside scoring ones. These are all recommended for any, it doesn't matter what position, literally. You could have, you could be a center doing this. But the first, the first one, literally any, any position is corner specialist. Corner specialist, y'all might be thinking like, no, not every position can use. No, every position can use this. I, I, I got this on my center, and I will hit trees in the corner with like a 33. It doesn't matter. So get you corner specialist. Get you catch and shoot too. Catch and shoot is another big one. It helps you. It helps you get. As soon as you catch and shoot, corner specialist and catch and shoot are deadly combined together. So you will want to get both of those. Now we got difficult shots and tireless score. Those are also deadly together. Tireless score because you know everyone be trying to score when they stamina meter blinking red. 
I don't know. That's just how people like to play. But if you got Tyler Score, it will help help you out tremendously. But Tyler Score, and if you have difficult shots on that, like on top of that, you can literally fade away and some of You can literally just like fade away and some of now while your stamina is blinking red into the corner. Like, <laughs> combine, just combine all of them. I don't know. And then the last outside scoring badge that I would recommend is limitless range, but that also depends. I don't know if this will work on someone who's not like not that good from three. Maybe someone who like at least at least a 70 three point rating should get limitless range. Cause you see how people be shooting from like half court. That's limitless range right there. So you might want to get that. If you have at least a 70 three-point rating or higher, if you have lower than 70, you can still get it, but it's going to be harder to get, and you're not going to be as consistent, so you might as well get that. But yeah, those are all the badges that you need for your my player that you can't upgrade. So these are all bronze badges. These are all the bronze badges that you need. For your my player, no matter what archetype you are, no matter what position, none of that. These are just the badges you need. It will make your player godlike. Trust me. Alright, so the first five badges that I would try to start grinding for will probably have to be catch and shoot, corner specialist, dimer, defensive stopper, and relentless finisher. I would put pickpocket on the list, but everyone already has pickpocket because that's just something that everyone gets. And then I also would put hustle rebounder, but I would probably put that on there if you were like a power forward or center or like small forward maybe. But those are like the first five badges I would probably start grinding for and then work on the rest after. Some of them are easy, some of you can get in like one game. So, hey, do what you can do. But yeah, if you found this video helpful in any type of way, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It'll mean so much to me. But, hope you found, hope you liked this video. No. That's it, I'm out. Peace.